What's up? I like your spot. I got this new thing I've been, uh, yeah, documenting my life. He already called me a few times. Yeah. What can we do? We kind of thought that was going to happen. It never flashed red though, it always stayed amber, huh? That's already a bad sign. Battery's dead in this thing. No, in mine. It smells kind of funky, right? It smells... It just smells like it's putting out a lot of emission for me. It's got that unique smell. I was talking to a friend and I said, hey, I think I gotta change the death quality sensor and he said there is no death quality sensor. I thought it was in there, but uh, I guess it isn't. That, that bus paramedic guy? <clears throat> uh, I guess death quality is based more upon your ability to remove knocks from the exhaust, which could indicate that we have a bad SCR, but he was saying to start with the regen, that takes 90 minutes. That's weird. weird. No, Dom had my GoPro for hella long, so now I got this new one, I'm like hella into it. I don't know. No, I don't want fucking calibration. No kidding, right? I got the suction cup attachment. Uh, the one code that scares the heck out of me right now is I saw a code for misfire on cylinder 6. Really didn't like that. So the only, I cleared the codes and the only code that stayed active was uh, one that says like torque V-ray, which pretty much means that the engine's only got like 50% power, which is like pretty fucking yeah, bad. Yeah, uh, Did it ever like just die? No, it took until like rock or get up to speed though, it feels like the crane was good. Fuck. So it's saying depth quality is 31% and I really don't know how they base that. That's something I really don't like. It's saying the intake knock is negative 15 parts per million. That could never fucking be. That could never fucking be. But now it's negative 200, 300, like it's fucking going nuts. Like you can't have a negative parts per million. Yeah. 
This regen might help it burn off, but a negative parts per million on your knock sensor, I hope the camera got that. That seems really off. See, now, now I'm starting to like this. You always want your intake to be slightly higher and the outlet, outlet to be lower. We want to see these fuckers end up being really close to zero, especially on the outlet side. Let's see if the quality, see the quality never changes though. I think Joey might be wrong on that, but I don't want to mess with that guy. No, he said it should be around 30%. Then how did it get? How do you make it? Like if it was good, you would think it was 100%, but it doesn't work that way. Our SER is working great now. Let's see if we're still smoking a lot. You checked oil and all that crap, didn't you? You never really want to get too close to the exhaust when you're doing a reach and the temperatures can reach like ridiculous 2,000, 3,000. I heard they start fires in dry fields with uh, doing a regen. one right after like Kettleman I think right dude you can't miss me I'm by some RV park or something I just got my new GoPro too so I'm like logging my regen I'm gonna I might get some uh, likes on my YouTube channel I think dude you know what I, you know what caught my eye was the intake knock sensor was kind of going crazy said it was negative 200 parts per million at one point I don't see how the fuck it could ever be negative. It can't, how could it be negative, bro? You can't have negative of anything on that. But, uh, it calmed down once I started the regen, and uh, I'm getting a good, uh, I'm getting a good intake outlet knocks. Like, uh, my intake's like 130, my outlet's 60. I, I don't mind that. We're not even really up to temp yet. Not a, it's a big ass truck, Joe. All right. Hey, you know what caught my eyeball too? It had a misfire on cylinder six, but it was a stored code. It wasn't active. That. I've never seen a misfire on an ISM like that. I mean an ISL, yeah. I had about a thousand codes on this thing. I'm hoping this regen just kind of wakes everything up. Yeah, but my biggest problem is if I, I clear the codes and he goes on his way and the problem comes back and he gets stuck again, I'm in deep shit. Hey, is this Woodbridge? Huh? Yeah, it's Woodbridge. It's actually a chill ass spot for being on the side of the road. Yeah. I still don't like that knock sensor. See ya.